This was brought to you by Tuts, Tips, Tricks, Reviews, Unboxed, on YouTube and Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook. Can you please explain X264 option? Red equals November 10th, 2017. Number 1. I currently have a 1950X Threadripper 16 core 32 thread processor and I would like to understand more about the advanced options such as threads equals. I was advised to use threads equals 80 and threads equals 0, but what do these mean and what should I be using for such a processor? I'm trying to fully max my CPU usage for encoding, but also not bog down my FPS in game. Thanks. Currently I can run 1080p 60 at 6k bit rate. Preset slow slash slower with threads equals 80 with around 45 to 80 percent CPU usage. Also, I've read using more than 22 or 24 threads for OBS actually hurts quality. Can please explain? Thanks. S. Fam 686. Member. November 10, 2017. Number 2. Threads equals 0 is x264 default number of threads. Too many x264 threads increases latency and have more encoding memory usage. Too many x264 threads can hurt quality in constant bitrate mode and near constant bitrate mode called VBD, video buffer verifier, due to increased encode delay. Keyframes need more data than other frame types to avoid pulsing poor quality keyframes. Zero delay or slice thread mode have no delay, but this option farther worse in multi threads quality. In constant quality mode, no zero delay, no slice thread. There seems to be too little difference of quality with too many threads. But live streaming requires constant bit rate or VDV mode. And Ableist. Remember. November 10, 2017. Number 3. Thanks for the fast reply. So when I tell OBS threads equals 80, does that mean use 80 physical threads or 80% of my available threads? I'm a little confused. Thank you. S. Sam, 686. Member. November 10, 2017. Number 4. Threads equals 80 means it will use 80 threads for x264 encoding, but your CPU don't have that many threads which might slow things down more than just using 32 threads the CPU have dot too little number of x264 threads, threads equals 1, can cause x264 encoder to get overloaded and drop slash duplicate frames. A, A, A will live. Member. November 10th, 2017. Number 5. Perfect. Thank you so much. I will experiment now when I get home. Any other tips I can play with or adjust to improve my quality with pixelation with a lot of artifacts being introduced when gaming. B. Born Down Under. Member. November 10th, 2017. Number 6. If you were to use threads equal 6-10 you would have far better results. For recording I would use CRS equals 10 with the lowest preset you can run without tanking frames. For streaming as long as you have the bandwidth allowance to push the bit rate, it ultimately determines your quality overall. A. Ableton. Member. November 10th, 2017. Number 7. Thanks, a bunch man. I'll try fast so just be to clear try threads equal 6-10 under x264 options, or specially each number threads equals x, x equals 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and test each one out. Bam, 686. Member. November 10th, 2017.
Tyler Dirt, zero N. New member. October 17, 2018. Number 12. Bob Humplick said, Is there any way you could explain this line of code? It looks like it is getting the number of logical cores, threads, and then 2 colon 3. Is that a ratio? Like log cores times 2 thirds divided by half. That doesn't sound right. I must be reading it wrong. What thread count would you recommend for a poor 8700K trying to play and stream a game at the same time? Six threads, leaving six log cores for the game. Maybe a bit row or a bit less. That's a conditional statement. If the underscore sliced underscore threads is set to true, then use two, otherwise use three. So by default X264 uses the exact number of logical processors if sliced threads is enabled, or 1.5 times that number if it's disabled. IRC sliced threads are only enabled when virality is selected as tuning them. This was brought to you by Tuts, Tips, Tricks, Reviews, Unboxed on YouTube and Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like.